Hi, I'm Jacob Mogler, Digital Marketing Coordinator here at the Organic Materials Review Institute. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to use Omri's website search tool. Omri's website serves a wide audience, including organic producers, certifiers, and input suppliers. Currently, there are over 9,000 products listed for organic use that anyone can search for using our online search. To start, after navigating to omri.org on your web browser, you'll see the search bar on the top right corner of the homepage. If you have a specific product or input material you are looking for, such as acetic acid, you can type it into the search bar here and click search. Take note of this checkbox next to the search bar here. If you are looking for a specific product, in this case a specific brand of acetic acid, you can type it in and click exact match to ensure that only results that contain an exact match of what you type will come up. Otherwise, the smart search will generate results that contain any of the words you type as well as words with similar spellings. So once you hit search, here on the results page, you'll see all the color-coded categories for the results. These could include listed products, allowed and prohibited materials, related material articles published by Omri staff on the subject matter, and other website content. Click one of these bars to narrow your search for that content type. Another thing you'll notice as you're scrolling through the results is the icons on the right side. If you scroll down below the results, you'll see the legend with all these icons explained. So again, we have the types of content color-coded. We have the three countries whose organic programs we list products under with an A for allowed, R for allowed with restrictions, and X for any materials prohibited for use. Next, we have the classifications to which any product or material is listed under. Now, it's important to note with these that if you're looking up a specific product, you check the specific class to which that product is listed. For instance, up here you'll see that acetic acid is allowed for use in the U.S. as a crop tool and production aid and as a crop fertilizer. And you can see the specific description here. But if you scroll down, you'll see that some of these products that show up may only be listed as a crop tool and production aid and are not necessarily allowed for fertilization. Class details like these can make a huge difference for producers when selecting products to use under an organic system plan. Another useful tool is the filters tool here next to the search bar. If you don't have a specific product or material in mind, but want to browse through a list of Omri listed products, you can filter your selection to narrow your results according to your needs. For example, say I'm looking for a livestock pest control product allowed for use in organic production under the USDA National Organic Program Standards. I'll check the box for US, check allowed, check product, and check the livestock pesticide slash parasiticide classification box. Below you'll see the currently listed products that meet those criteria, and you can adjust the filters accordingly. One last note. In the summer of 2020, the Omri listed seal was updated and simplified into one unified seal, no longer specifying a product's ruling body. Since Omri reviews products to the US, Canadian, and Mexican organic standards, we encourage producers when they see an Omri listed seal on a product to go to omri.org and search the product to double check compliance given the intended use and relevant ruling body. Well, that concludes today's video. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Omri through the website, social media, and of course in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching.